I'm absolutely delighted now to be joined by the MAA's Tina Stradley. Tina, welcome. Pleasure to be here. Now, Tina, I believe the JMM is the largest mathematics conference in the world. Yes, it is, and it's held on an annual basis. Uh, so it's definitely the largest annual meeting, and it attracts people from all over the world. So, Tina, this is a maths conference, right? So let's get down to the numbers. How many people are we expecting? How many presentations will there be? There are, I just found out the numbers actually, there are 6,100 people pre-registered, which would be a record alone uh, it, just at that number for the number of people we've ever had at these meetings. But we expect seven to 900 more to uh, register on site, and that would put the total registration somewhere near 7,000 people. And, and it's the largest number of presentations. There are 2,724 different presentations, which is a 15% increase. The numbers are just great. Boston is turning out to be a perfect place to have this meeting. So Tina, what advice would you give to somebody who's maybe coming to this for the first or second time? I would say don't jump from session to session. Go to a session that's interesting and sit there for a while and talk to the people who are in that session who have common interests. Uh, that's probably the easiest way to, to get to know people and people that are interested in some of the same things you are. There's also a reception for first timers and a reception for graduate students and for undergraduate students. The poster sessions are a great way to meet and talk to people. So um, I would say don't try to do it all. It's too much, it's overwhelming. So Tina, the number of people giving presentations is up 15% year on year. That would suggest to me a vibrant profession. Profession is very vibrant. Uh, we, have, we have seen um, rather flat numbers in the number of undergraduate majors. So the profession itself is growing and, and uh, there's always new developments and it's very exciting. But one of the problems we face is getting in more undergraduate majors. So Tina, what can the profession do to change that? We're working hard on more effective teaching, better articulation from the high schools, uh, letting students know more about the careers in mathematics. There's a lot more to do than, than teach although teaching is also a very honorable profession and we hope good students go into teaching at all levels. But there's a lot more to do with a math major. And math majors get jobs. We just need to get the word out better. Tina, thank you ever so much indeed for joining us today. Thank you. It's a pleasure. Thank you very much.